Joining me now is my friend, my brother, James Clyburn, <laughs> Congressman representing South Carolina's 6th District. Good morning, my friend. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Democrats have voted with Republicans in recent weeks, helping Speaker Johnson pass a bunch of different bills. How do you feel about yesterday's event with Trump and Johnson and mar a affects the ability for Democrats to continue to work with the Speaker? It was a shameful uh, presentation on the part of two, those two gentlemen. But I don't think that's going to have a whole lot of impact on what Hakeem Jeffries and the leadership of the Democratic Party is going to be about. Because we will always put this country over any candidate. And it seems as if the speaker is putting candidate Trump over the country of these United States. And we will never do that. We ran on the, the platform of putting people over politics, and we'll continue to do that. And so when it comes to preserving this democracy, moving an agenda forward to benefit the American people, we will set aside the politics and not worry about uh, this f press conference full of bad information, misinformation, disinformation, just outright lies. And that's what they were doing. When you have a study done of 20 years of elections in this country and find out uh, that less than uh, three uh, or four dozen uh, of people voted illegally. We don't know exactly why they voted illegal. I don't know if they thought they were legal, whatever may uh, be the case. We're talking about less than zero, 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 one percent. That, to me, is what that press conference is all about, trying to create something out of nothing, but that will not stare, deter us from doing what is necessary for the American people. So you mentioned elections. Let's talk about that. Uh, in order to be successful in November, we know that President Biden is going to need the full support of black voters. And back in January, this is what you said. How worried are you about black voters showing up for President Biden in November? Well, I'm not worried. I'm very concerned. So then you weren't worried, you were very concerned. Are you still not worried? Are you still concerned? Give me an update. Where do you stand on that now? I am still concerned because I've been around this business long enough to know that were it not for misinformation, uh, that Hillary Clinton would have been elected president of the United States, and I think all of us know that. And we do know uh, that we just had recent testimony in the House with the Republican chair of the committee saying that the Russians are caring for it, misinformation, disinformation over uh, social media in such a way that it concerns uh, the, the Republican leadership, that decisions can be made based upon false information. That's what concerns me. I want the American voter to be well-informed, blacks and whites, to know uh, the answer to the three-word question, who did this? Who did what led uh, to January 6, 2021? Who did what led to women losing their reproductive rights? Who did what was uh, caused us not to be able to pass a bipartisan uh, border bill? We finally yesterday I uh, got enough votes to pass uh, our intelligence legislation, which Donald Trump uh, tweeted against. So we are going to spend the next few months answering that one question. Who did this? And when it comes to Joe Biden, we're going to be asking, who eliminated student loan debt now to the tune of over $149 billion? Mm -hmm. Who got this economy back on track? Who uh, passed the comprehensive bipartisan infrastructure bill? Mm -hmm. Who uh, got us safer communities? And we just had a bill, uh, the president has now issued an uh, executive order to deal 
with gun safety. That is what we are going to be asking uh, throughout this campaign. Who did this? And we will lay out the litany of this is. Big Brother, sir, before I let you go, I do have to ask you one last question. There is a new Wall Street Journal poll that has basically suggested that in seven different swing states that the numbers of black voters who Joe Biden needs to turn out is slipping. And it's slipping in a way that is not going to be good for him. What do you think the campaign needs to do in order to not only stabilize but reverse this trend? Well, we're going to have to go to the streets. We cannot rely on the media to do this. I've been saying this for a long time now, and I still believe it very strongly, that this is going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat. we got to take to the streets. we got to go to these groups. we got to go out to the African-American community, not rely on social media, because so much of that information is tainted. It is inserted uh, by foreign uh, operatives, operatives who are trying to disrupt uh, this democracy. So we have to go straight to the people. Democratic Representative James Clyburn of South Carolina proving yet again that cues run the world. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.